This is part four in our four part wind testing series. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna test how durable an engineered steel replacement for a four x four post is. There's a lot of discussion about whether or not it's stronger or not, how much stronger it is. We already know that it won't rot, but is it actually stronger when it comes to a wind test? So we're gonna compare it to the last video. If you didn't catch the last video where we wind tested four x four posts, check that out right here. I'm Alan. Hey. I'm Dan. And that's John. He's from Florida Fence Pros. John has one job. John brought the blow to the party. Through the use of an airboat, of course. We're not talking Columbian Bam Bam. Just don't be silly. This is Florida. John's family has a airboat tour company just south of Orlando called Alligators Unlimited. Check out his airboat tour company. But without further ado, let it blow. To keep things even, we are doing a horizontal pressure treated pine privacy fence as the first test. And then after this is done, we'll move to the stockade test built on the same steel post replacement for a four x four. This is going to be the first. The one thing we do know about this stuff is it is incredibly heavy. These boards are not fun to pack into a backyard. So we know there's a lot of weight on this fence. It was just built, it's totally green. So let's see what it takes to knock it down or if we can knock it down right now. That was 100. 110. We know that the wind is incredibly high. We've blown the grass clean. Like you can see how much it's basically picked up the soil and blown this clean, just like all of our other tests. So the question is, is, is this fence at all destroyed? No, this fence is in extremely good shape. So what we noticed when we did the test on the four x four posts is that the concrete gave way. And we didn't even talk about one of the secret things. We forgot to mention in the beginning of this that this, this fence has a secret. And its secret is there's no concrete. Notice how there's no dirt here? We didn't dig any holes for this. Instead of digging holes, we pounded these posts four feet deep. We used 10 foot posts, covered them up so you can't even see them. So this side looks just like the other side almost. And this is still in good shape. There's nothing wrong with this fence. We saw the other one start leaning because we didn't have enough depth in the ground when we did the test on the four x four posts, but because we have the added depth and no concrete to break out, this fence is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with this fence. I'm gonna say that the worst thing is, is maybe this post bent just a little bit. Yeah, that didn't move it. So I think this post in the middle bent just ever so slightly. Now, to be fair, the last time when we couldn't get something to destroy, we shifted some rudder in. So we're gonna give it some rudder if that's all right with you, John. Let's give it the worst case scenario again and see if we can get a post to bend at least. That would make me, well, it wouldn't make me happy because I wanna build the best fences, but it'd make you happy, I'm sure of it. Yeah, we got it tipped really nice. We're trying to give this the absolute worst case scenario because that's what we wanna do is we wanna build fences to our worst case scenario here in Florida and across Wyoming, because many people don't realize just how windy it is in Wyoming. And I brought all that knowledge about wind with me to Florida. And I'm always thinking about how to build the best fences to withstand the wind. Cause that is our biggest nemesis, wind and rot, as far as I'm concerned and sun. Now that did something. We got some lean out of her. That's a lot of wind. That's a lot of wind. That is a lot of, that's a lot of really, really hard wind. I'm gonna guess we're probably in the 120 range with wind and it's as close as we can get it and as hard as we can get it. Should be a worst case scenario. Now, this fence is leaning. I will give you that. But Alan, can we fix this? Yeah, I can fix that. How hard is it to fix this? Not very hard. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna come over here and because it's steel, we're just gonna plumb it back up, bend it back straight, and boom, we're done. That way. Uh, yeah, we went a little far. A little more cowbell, a little more. Yep, you're good, it's straight. There, it's done. It was that easy. To fix a four by four, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to dig down next to it, push it over, 
and then put concrete in the void, re-add concrete, and we know that it's probably just gonna push it together because the two pieces of concrete poured at two different times are not at all bonded together, so. What's the life expectancy of one of these posts? So I'm gonna give it at least 25 years. 25 years before it does what? Because uh, it's not gonna yeah. rot, right? Well, it's not gonna rot, but you still have the potential for rust. Correct. To look at that and people say, well, there's, you don't have anything, there's no concrete or there's nothing protecting it, but chain link fences have been built like this for decades and decades, and we remove them all the time. And as long as you have good thick steel, I'm gonna say you're probably gonna get three times the lifespan out of one of these posts that you will get out of a wood four by four. To say that you're gonna get a lifetime, may not happen but you're definitely going to forget that you had a warranty by the time it fails and probably have sold the house five times so very very good product what we believe in and this is what we use for all of our fences number one because we can install them very easily add strength and as you've also noticed there's no mess you gotta like not having a mess in your yard when you're done building a brand new beautiful fence like the mess that's over there on those and these are still still solid it's ready to go for the next wind that's all i have to say about that one <sighs> no that's a bad idea hey what are we gonna do here? Well, this is the fence that we built to test and realized that it wasn't really gonna yield anything. So we're gonna just go for broke. We're gonna back this thing up on the back side because last time we pressed on everything so that it was pushing the two by fours towards the fence. However, we're going to try and press the opposite way that we did on everything else so that we're again, putting pressure on the fasteners. So if there's a weak point in the fasteners, we can figure that out. I think we can probably put a little slight bend on these, but I really wanna check the fasteners and see if there's any weakness in the fasteners. But without further ado, let it blow. Ah, ah, when we tested the horizontal fence, we didn't see that much flex. We got a lot more out of this, and I'll tell you why I think that happened. We don't have those horizontal boards spanning three posts, so we don't get that additional strength from our horizontal members. And so it allowed the fence to flex further. However, just like the horizontal fence, this is an easy repair. We go on the other side, we bend this thing back straight, and we're done. Hey, you wanna do that? Let's bend this thing straight. Let's show them. Oh, a little much. This one's bent. No more. Hey, it's fixed. But even though the posts flexed and bent just a little bit, the footing itself is not at all unstable. Because we drove these and the soil is firm, everything below grade is still fine. It just bent the posts ever so slightly, which we're easily able to fix. And we are testing these in the absolute worst case scenario. Not sustained winds, but we're blowing on them with the highest winds that we can get out of the boat, which is roughly 123 miles an hour. That's why we use these posts. They don't rot. They're extremely durable. They're extremely tough. And if you do need to make repairs, repairs are super simple. And there's no mess in your yard because guess what? We didn't have to dig any holes for all these. And can I pull this thing out? No, I can't. Hey, before we end the video, I just want to clarify something here. I know what you're thinking. You probably saw that last video where we used a four x four post and this video where we're using a Postmaster post. I'm not going to buy the Postmaster post when I can buy a four x four post. Oh, that's almost the same product. Today, we're testing a brand new four x four post. We could test this in five years. That four x four post is going to fail whereas the Postmaster post is still gonna be just as strong as it was the day it was installed. Not to mention, if you have a concrete failure, it's a lot harder to put the post back and do a repair. Now back to you, Mark. If there's something you think we missed in all of this, let us know down below. We always love to hear from you, especially if you're gonna tell us how poorly we did it, all of it. We know you keyboard warriors are out there and you're just dying. You're just jonesing to tell us all the ways we screwed it up. Can't wait to hear from you. If you didn't catch the vinyl video where we wind tested vinyl fences, check that out right over here. If you wanna learn more about the engineered steel posts that we use as a wood four x four replacement, check out one of these videos right here. And until next time, you have a good dang day.